All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome to this week's and our last week of our virtual announcements. Hard to believe, but we are here, last week of school. So here we go. Uh, again, we're going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. So if we can please stand and face the flag here. Place your right hand over your heart as we begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And again, today, I will be safe, be respectful, be responsible, and do my personal best. All right, way to go this morning. All right, this week looks wonderful, although it's still only about 47 degrees right now, early this morning when I'm making this video week looks just awesome so i don't looks like i don't have today on there today's gonna be in the mid 70s the rest of the week wow just looks fantastic so a uh, great week ahead as we wrap up this last week of school with weather uh, and again we want to continue to thank everybody uh all of our first responders our frontliners our teachers our staff uh, but there's one group that i haven't talked much about or i haven't thanked a lot and that's a lot of you that are watching this video, and that's our students. You guys, I want to personally thank all of our students that have gone through this as, as, as children. And, and that's a big deal, because what you are going through is something that you'll remember. It's something that you'll, you'll be able to share with your kids. This is a, a unique time, a crazy time, but it's something that uh, we, we don't take for granted when we talk about the the things that you all are doing, all of our kids, whether you're a kindergartner or a fifth grader, you have older siblings in middle school, high school, or even college. We want to thank all of our students for uh, going through this type of virtual learning that we, we have created for you. Uh, it was new. It was different. It was something that was done very quickly for all of us. And we want to thank all of you. Uh, you guys are rock stars. We love you for it. Uh, keep up the great work. Don't forget throughout the summer, um, you know, you can still get out those, you can still get out those Chromebooks or get on your computer, go to certain websites. Uh, very important to continue to read and practice your math facts. If we can just do those two things, just do those two things throughout the summer, that's a huge advantage to when we get back to school in the fall. So uh, find some books, head to the library. Um, get, get on uh, uh, your favorite uh, ebook store and download a book to read, whatever that might be. Keep reading and practice your math facts, whether it's just flashcards or a, on an online program. Get some reading in each day. Practice your math facts throughout the week and you'll have a great summer. All right. Thank you all for all that you have done throughout this as well. We're going to recognize a group of students, and this is a weird one because we've been off school uh, for uh, for the last eleven weeks or so. But we uh, we usually recognize students uh, for, for for perfect attendance, and I'm just going to read the names of these students this year. So uh, these are in no order as they were printed, so coming from different classrooms and grade levels. But uh, here we go: Maya Jacobus, Elaine Blue, uh, Raquel Lehman. Delaney Wetnight, Audrey Wolf Graham, Elliot Addis, Charlie Lipset, Miles McCown, Julia Tower, Ben Panter, Lainey Parker, Erica Morello, Anthony Voltaggio, and Tristan Shank Franco. They all had perfect attendance throughout this school year. Uh, so we want to thank them, congratulate them. Uh, you guys are rock stars as well. Uh, this week, our free lunch breakfast program is, is back to normal. It is Monday and Wednesday. That's today and Wednesday from 1130 to 1230 in our bus loop. All, uh, all of the other elementaries, including Ellen Street, uh, at the same location, same time. Uh, but this continues just for the next couple of weeks, and I'll have more of that here in a minute. All right. We had a couple people submit the same question. Uh, so I think it was Alice, Liam, and Colton all asked about the yearbook, and that is a great question. Well, part of uh, the reason of the unknowns with this uh, shutdown is it has delayed printing 
different businesses in different locations have uh, uh, their businesses have slowed or they've had uh, to slow down production. And, and the effect of that is that our, our yearbooks have been delayed a little bit. So I don't have an exact timeline. You will, will get them. They are, they look awesome. We've been able to preview them through a PDF. Uh, so we've been able to preview them. They are amazing. So all of the adults that have helped with that prepare those, they did an amazing job. I can't wait for all of you to see it, but so the actual information and how we are going to get those to you uh, is will be coming soon. So a great question, you guys. Uh, we hope to get those to you soon, but because of the delays, we don't know the exact time for them uh, uh, yet, but more to come. All right. That, that being said, today is the first day of student supply pickup. It is today from 11 to 1. We overlap that with our lunch pickups. You can grab a lunch, then head over to the main bus loop. Uh, if you have any library books, please have those in your trunk or the back of your vehicle. A staff person will come up. If you pull up into the main loop, we'll ask you who your child is. They will go back into the gym, grab their stuff, and then uh, bring it back, put it in your trunk, grab any library books that you have, and, and wish you a happy summer. So it's a pretty simple process. That's today from 11 to 1, and tomorrow, Tuesday, June 2nd, from 3 to 6. Uh, the only other announcement we're going to add on there, if you are a safety patrol student, that is going to happen uh, during the lunch drop off on Wednesday. Mrs. Kuhn will be there. Uh, the reason why it's a separate day than this pickup is because she has a safety patrol present for each of our safety patrol students. So uh, a little bit different there for our safety patrol uh, students. But supply pickup is still only going to be today and tomorrow. All right. Uh, end of the year dates. Today is that June 1st. So any last minute assignments that you want that you need to complete, please make sure that those are submitted today. This Friday, June 5th is the last day of school. So please pay attention to your Google Classroom this week, even though we're submitting assignments today. Uh, I know our teachers still have different things happening this week, uh, whether it's just a, a fun Zoom meeting or get together uh, on Zoom or something like that. Different teachers have different things planned. Just please make sure that you uh, have access to your Google Classroom and you know uh, and participate until the last day of school this Friday, all right? Again, June 17th is the last lunch program day for Fenton's program uh, until we start our summer program, which is the Meet Up Eat Up program, July 6th. So any support that you need through during that kind of off time from the 17th to the 6th, please check out our COVID resource page for our community partners that will help throughout that time. All right, and uh, this will continue to be on this slide deck. First day of school already known. It's Tuesday, August 25th. There's some other important days there just that we can mark our calendar, but we'll have more about that uh, as we get closer to the fall. Uh, and again, next year, we're planning, we're preparing um, in order to make sure that everybody's safe. We have a bunch of different options, uh, kind of an A, B, and C plan, uh, and we're going to prepare for all of them as we go throughout this summer. So more information to come on that as well. Enroll those kindergartners, probably tired of me hearing, uh, tired of me saying that, but it's it, it's very important. And the sooner that, that uh, you or your neighbor or your friends do that, encourage them to do that, uh, it, it helps us be able to uh, pr uh, prepare the, each building uh, in terms of staffing, uh, sorting, and, and getting everybody hopefully their first choice of where they want to attend. Uh, school. And as we wrap up here, uh, you know that uh, we love you. We hope you have a wonderful summer. You can always reach out through email if you need anything. Uh, but uh, I, I wish you all the best and wonderful and greatest and fun summer that you can have. Be safe, be smart, follow your rules, uh, help your parents out, do the chores, do the dishes, rake some leaves. Um, get outside, uh, get off the technology now for a while, and just enjoy this beautiful Michigan summer. Have a great summer. We can't wait. Trust me. Can't wait to see everybody in the fall. We love you. Take care. Bye-bye.